Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I've done a video, but I've just been so busy this year, it's just been absolutely crazy. So I've just got some time now where it's, the house is nice and quiet and I'll get a chance to do a quick tutorial video. So this video is just very simple and it's just showing you how to pop together um, this loaded pocket from my digital kit, which is the Grandma's Herb Garden. And within that digital kit, um, which focuses on these lovely herbs, chamomile and hem henna, uh, you get some instructions on how to make this. So I'm just going to just go through it very quickly. So it's very simple. Um, you've got the instructions here, just telling you what to do. So you're going to cut out this first back of the pocket and then there are another four pockets here which you're going to cut out like so so we'll get to that stage and then we'll start to assemble it so really all you need to do the simple version of this is a pair of scissors um you glue and a steady hand so i'll be back in a minute hello again right so now we should have our different pieces of paper that we've cut out. So I've printed this particular one on 140 GSM, which is kind of like a, a very sturdy, light cardstock really. Um, when you've glued it together, it will give it more rigidity. I mean, you can print it on paper if you like. It just depends how sturdy you're wanting it and what you're wanting it for. Um, you know, a, a heavier paper than 140 GSM would be absolutely fine as well. So we've got the pocket here, back. And then we have these four pieces that we're going to assemble. We're going to sort of layer them on top of each other. So this is the finished version here. Now I have have actually inked just around the edges. Um, you don't have to do this, but I like that kind of look and I think it makes the colors pop and it just makes it a bit more finished so I'm just going to finish off now with my ink pad here it's only a very light tea stain color you could use different colored inks such you know green or a darker brown So with the digital kit, you also get the tags that are inside the loaded pocket to cut out. So I'll show you those in a bit. I'm definitely due for some new ink pads. Mine is getting a bit dry now. So we're going to start and we're going to glue the first pocket up to these lines here. So I'm going to use my glue and I'm just going to squeeze a thin line when it comes out. So I'm just going to just sort of glue just to the side of the line, just a little bit. You don't need much with this glue, it's quite strong. This is, um, I think it's a, a solvent based adhesive and it gives a good, you know, a good uh, finish. You don't get any wrinkling. It's not a, I don't think it's a water based glue. So I'm just going to just let that uh, settle just a minute before I put the pocket on the top. So I'm going to take the first pocket and we're going to pop it over the lines to the markers. There we go. Okay, nice and easy. So with the next one, if you just, you don't have to measure it, um, but I've got the measuring board here, which just makes things a bit easier. So we've got about, three centimeters so three centimeters here and then we'll put the next one three centimeters 
and then the final one well three centimeters doesn't work I think if we just if you just play about with it really till you're happy with where the pockets go I mean you might want a deeper pocket so you might want to put it you know a bit sort of further down but they all fit on it's just you know there's no real set way to do it apart from the first pocket so I'm just going to glue around now the second pocket so I'm going to start down the side here it's just gone a bit gummy I absolutely love this glue although it does get a bit tacky around the top you have to give it a bit of a clean or pull it you know pull it out of the end so you can get your glue out you don't need a lot Okay, so I'm just going to place this one around about here. I mean, you don't even have to use all the four pockets. You could have a three pocket um, large, you know, pull out item if you wanted. I also think it makes a nice gift as well if you, you know, trimmed it up a little bit. Send it through the post to uh, somebody special. Brighten up the day. So I'm going to pop that one about there. And then the next one, just very simple around the edges. Like so. And then that's the final one. Just get it into place. So very, very simple. Looks very, very nice, I think. There we go. You could, you know, stitch around this if you wanted with your sewing machine. Or you could, you know, pop lace on it, anything you like, really. Trim it up. I'll just show you how it would look on, a, on the page. So this is one of the pages from my digital kit. This is just one of the lined ones, so everything's done to make a, you know, like a shabby chic kind of look. So as you can see, that would look maybe quite nice on there. It fits well. Okay, so here we have the tags to cut out. And some page tabs as well. So let's pop our tags that I've already cut out into the pocket here. I have put an eyelet through some of them. So that should just slot in. I think it's really nice for spring. It's nice bright colours. Nice and fresh with the greens and the uh, chamomile. So a jigsaw piece. There we go. So these are nice to put on someone's gift, you know, maybe for Easter or birthday tag, something like that. So the, it does come with these instructions as well. So it's showing you how it should look. But, you know, don't print this one, maybe not, because, you know, you're not supposed to cut this one out. This one's just for, like, your reference. So if you just read it on, you know, on your computer and then you're saving your ink because, you know, coloured ink is quite expensive at the moment anyway. So just to save you from printing it out, don't bother printing it. <laughs> okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and um, I'll put the link to my shop. Um, if you're not coming from my Etsy shop already, I will link my Etsy shop and this digital kit in the link below so you can you know click through and have a look if you're interested um but yeah so thank you for 
joining me and I'm going to try and do some more videos a little bit more regularly now um, but things have just been hectic my dad's in hospital and um, I've been helping to care for him and uh, yeah so it's been quite it's been quite busy so thank you for joining me and I do hope you've enjoyed this and if you were uh, you know I'd love to hear any comments so if you want to you know make a comment in the uh, box below that'd be great and um, please like this video and subscribe see you soon thank you